So welcome back to the channel guys. Today I'm going to try and show you how to fish one of the best hard body lures that costs you under ten dollars. So it's a Rivers of Sea baby vibe. It's in uh, color M02. They come unrigged so you have to put a well, I put a decoy size 14 treble on the rear and then size zero split rings. So that's it there. So what we're going to do is we're just going to throw this at pontoons. We've got an incoming tide which is probably about two thirds of the way up which is pretty good. Uh, it's a very big tide which I don't like to fish uh, pontoons on really really big tide so once it hits high tide I'm, I'm probably gonna well I have to go to work anyway so we'll take it from there so we'll see how this goes and I'll try and explain to you along the way about what I'm doing and how I'm doing it and hopefully we can get a few fish cheers so I've got a so I actually fish baby vibes on straight through fluorocarbon uh, that's the Daiwa three pound straight through thoro, fluoro. It's in the pink packet. Uh, Daiwa, um, what is it? Daiwa Luvius and a Miller Rods uh, Twitch Freak, which is probably one of my favourite rods at the moment. I use it for almost everything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cast it along the pontoon like that, probably a bit out. Let it sink. I'm just going to do really small lifts. And I'm on first car. Oh, I would have had it in his mouth. Oh, no. So I just want to do really small lifts. Not with your arm, just with your, uh, with your wrist. Oh, that was terrible. Maybe concentrate a bit more on fishing and talking. The only bad thing about using straight through fluorocarbon is getting snags off, A, and B, you can't put that much pressure on the fish. That's just right there too. Um, so A is, you can't put that much pressure on the fish. I think the positives are that you don't have to retie, you can just you can just tie, you know, you're not retying leader knots, you're just tying the the knot to the lure or terminal knot. Um, and I don't, well, I don't think that with straight through fluorocarbon, the fish, in my opinion, don't go as hard, which means they don't feel that there's a little bit of stretch, a bit of give in the line, so they're not gonna like resist as much all right so cast it out near the pontoon let it hit the bottom and just that's terrible oh, got him oh. oh did you see the bite would have probably seen that what that was terrible. As I said, we're only using three pound line. All right. Okay, so the tide's pushing in, which means it's gonna pull the lure this way. So I wanna go a little bit past the pontoon. So as the tide will bring it in line, I don't wanna start the lure on this side because it's going to bring it away if that makes sense if it, if it doesn't make sense just put a comment below in the video and I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability it's right near a pole that one let's see just really small little hops. 
just until you feel it vibrate. Right. I thought I'd get one off that pole to be honest. So I'm going to go work the left side of these pontoons and then on the way back I'm going to do the right side. I haven't got long today so I've got to get back to work. Alright so there's rails there so I don't want to drag it all the way along the bottom on this side. definitely think out of all the lures that I have this is probably the only one under ten dollars that I consistently use and have success on I mean hard bodies I'm not talking about soft plastics you've got many soft plastics that will that will do the job but a hard body under ten bucks to get a quality hard body under ten bucks that works well swims well swims straight it's not, a, it's not as uh, common as you think. Right, that's right near that pole. And I've got like three poles that I can work on the way back. The more structure, the more structure you've got, the more chance of brim's going to be in that structure, I think. There's only one one um, treble in the back because the lure sits like at 45. So if you think they're going to eat the lure, they're usually just going to eat the treble on this baby bite because it sits like. Uh, 45 sits upright like a um, like a jackal TN it really looks it's not doesn't look but it's it's similar to a jackal TN but it's just so small and when they're a bit when they're a bit fussy your downsize and lure I think that sometimes helps them bite. I'm in the weed. No, how am I going to get this out? It's no rail, isn't it? It must have been a rock or something. Coming out, oh, there he goes. Ugh. All right, just hoping that life jacket's not going over my um, camera footage. Okay, it's really not close enough, but I'll leave it. Yeah, I had one bite so far. So that's good. That's got two poles and a and a uh, pontoon. It's a lot of structure. So you'd you'd think. Oh, there you go. Oh, busted me. Ate it on the drop and busted me off. But didn't swear. That's just how quickly everything can happen. But that was a really good fish. Just had no chance. Oh no, why did I do that? 
what do you do? You just retire. And like you get busted off, it it should at least give you confidence that there's fish there and they're biting the lure that you're throwing. So yes, get the shits. I get the shits more than anyone, but take the positives out of it. So after Okay. So after being busted off, I've retired and we're back at it. So as I said before, oh my god, are you joking with that cast? Sounds like you are. So, that was, so this is why, you know, for some people it's a good option because you know you've lost one lure already, you've lost ten bucks. If you throw a more expensive, you know, thirty dollar made in Japan lure, you know, that's up to thirty dollars, you could you can you can save yourself a bit of coin. But all um, all lures have their place. This is more of a of a winter application, I think. Like I'd I'd probably maybe throw a well, I'd definitely throw a crab, crank a crab. And pontoons more than anything. So these baby vibes, oh my god, they work so well. The reason I don't like doing this side down here is there's a lot of weed. A real lot of weed. I think we're going to be doing really well to get a fish. Well, that was a good cast. Come on. That's what I mean about having reverse. You can just reverse the fish out. Like the boat is using electric, we can use the 180 drive. Once he's out, you can just go a little bit easier on him. These are not a bad fish, actually. Oh, it's not that good, actually. I must say the same thing every time I catch a fish. He's all right. Actually, he's good. Okay. All right. So, it's the first fish we've landed this morning. And as you can see, we've got that river to see. Oh, he's just got it now. We've got that river to see, baby, by. See that? He's got it. There he is. Cool. River Sea Baby Vibe. Hard body lure. So River to Sea Baby Vibe. River to Sea Baby Vibe. Hard body lure. That costs you under 10 bucks. That works very well. There's not too many of them around, under 10 bucks, but I can honestly recommend that one. It's an absolute cracker of a lure. All right, so I'm gonna try and cast in a darker section. We could have let that go another meter, but we'll see. Oh, it's very hot. I think I just cast there to be honest. God knows what I'm doing. Well, maybe you guys don't even know. Um, yeah, so as I said, just small sharp lifts. In the port acting, you really need to go very, very light. If you want to go litre, you want to go nothing over four pound. You, you very rarely get a touch on something over four pound. Unless you're fishing surface, which is a whole different story. So, you know, plastics. 
four pound max cranks. I'll use three pounds straight through. Woken up. Oh, bloody hell. He hadn't woken up. Oh, no. Well, I couldn't have let him run into that rock because he would have done me anyway. So, well, that's not bad because the tide's going to bring it in. Oh, that was, that was a better fish, I think, too. Been pretty productive. Like I've pulled the hook on about three. I've been busted off once and I've landed one. So you know, a little bit of luck, and you know, you could have had four fish in the in the kayak. So the other good thing of going this way on the way back is I'm going with the tide. And I can sort of just fish the tide on the way back. I don't really have to paddle. The tide will just take me back to the boat ramp. So this is a lot, this is a lot, a lot deeper out this far. So I'm not sure I'm going to, going to be on these poles. I think they're going to be further in. Helps if it wasn't a horrendous cast so. there. Looks weird, eh? This, that doesn't look right. It's doing birds. Where's the kingfish at? Always a fish under there. <laughs> Seriously. There's no fish under there. You're, you're kidding me. There's a float. Fuck, oh, I broke my plank. Actually three more casts. I'll do this one and then I'll do the next one because I like the next one's got poles on it as well. I'm just gonna touch that to slow down. Please don't be fouled up. He's not a big fish, so I'm not, I'm not too concerned about paddling him out. Only a little. He's legal. Maybe. See, so they're just mouthing it, like they're not swallowing it. So if you were to use a, um, if you were to use a, 
a bigger lure. They might not get it. There you go, mate. Thanks for that. All right, last cast of the day. You can't just say last cast and then it just be last cast, though, can you? Isn't that like a rule? I think it is a rule. Look at this. It's got like so you can't get you can't get on his pontoon. Or maybe it's for the birds. I don't know. Anyway. That's a cast of the day so far. Watch the line. Stick the finger on the blank. We'll have one more cast right at the back. Right at the back. Yeah, that's good. All right, we're done for the day. So that was um, fishing with uh, the River to Sea Baby Vibe, which I think, in my opinion, it's the best hard body lure under ten dollars. I'll put a um, I'll put a link in the comments below where you, or a link to the site where you can get them. And I uh, hope you learned something, and I hope you're enjoying the new style of videos where I'm trying to explain and not just fish. If you uh, want me to try and do a specific video uh, put it in the comments below and I'll try and uh, I'll try and get it done for you guys thanks for watching cheers